Hey everyone, it's Jacob Jake's Metal Chat. Hope you're all well and welcome to episode 60 of My Metal Vault, where I will be exploring and showing you my favourite albums within heavy metal to thrash metal, death metal, black metal, doom metal, sludge metal, folk metal, you name it, all the excellent stuff. And I'd like to apologise again, I, I know I did it on my community post, that I haven't been doing any new videos. Been Obviously went to Castle first over in the Netherlands and I went to Bloodstock the week after that. And then probably just been trying to, you know, decompress from all that and obviously finding new employment as well. So that's been taking up a lot of my time. A lot of things I've got to do in my life, you know, that and driving lessons and things like that. So I will get new videos out as and when. Because obviously. As I've done before, I recorded the videos that would be for this series like days earlier. So I will start doing that a little bit more in the future. But I'm here now. I'm back with a new episode of My Metal Vault. As well as talking about the albums, I'd be talking about the bands, as you know. So brief history and any releases leading up to the album that I have picked. And yeah, this this band here lasted 50 years and of course the band ended in the year of 2015 following the death of the man who brought this band to life i'm talking about lemmy and as soon as i mention that man you're gonna know which band i'm on about and that is motorhead Legendary band mixing heavy metal and hard rock. Blending it so well together, it just other times it will sound punky as hell. And like I said, was formed by the man we know as Lemmy, but his full name was Ian Fraser Kilmister. But we all know him. As Lemmy Kilmister. Born on the 24th of December 1945. Sadly passed away on the 28th of December 2015. And of course he wasn't the only member to have died that year. Phil Animal was the other one that passed away in November of that same year. And then in 2018... Fast Eddie, who was on the album that I'm talking about, died in that year of 2018. And let's get on with the album. Let's, you know this album. This is the first album I ever heard by him. First album I bought. Once again, Motorhead. This is their 1980 album. Ace of Spades. Love that cover. Got the guys there. Like I said, all sadly passed away. But the legacy lives on on this album and albums that they did before. There's the back. Of course, we'll uh, got the little mascot right there. CD. But it says Ace of Spades right there. I think that is really cool. Get the book out as I as you know. I like to show the cover. And love the Motorhead logo. Song's there again. And some lyrics there. And I believe on this page, some band pictures are on there. Very good stuff right there. Now let's talk about the band. Let's get a little bit of history for you. So they formed in 1975 in London here in the UK. They weren't always called Motorhead. And if you know your history of Motorhead very well, you know that they were called Bastard. And what a name to have. But then that was quickly changed to the band that we know today. But before Lemmy was in Motorhead, before he formed Motorhead, he was in Hawkwind a very well-known psychedelic rock band. 
Of course, his vocals were a lot different back then and not the gruff sounding vocals we know today. They were a lot more on the cleaner side. And before that, he was in other other bands as well. He was in one called The Rainmakers from 63 to 66. Motown Sect. Sec, I think it says that. From in 1966. And The Rockin' Vickers. Well, yeah. He, he was in bands before. How it changed from like whatever these bands were before. From on the uh, rock and roll side to heavy metal and hard rock. Very, very different right there. Yeah. Like I said, all three of the members on this album are long gone. But the legacy lives on. But let's crack on with the releases so obviously they got the name down they were going to release some stuff so the first single was called england which has two songs on it living here which is a cover by eddie holland never heard of him and white line fever and that was released in 1977 on Sky Dog Records, which I, if I look here, no longer active. And I think, yeah, and Motorhead was, I think, the only one they had on there. Might have had more, but it's only showing me Motorhead. And then we get on to another single in 1977, which was Motorhead, which is a Hawkwind cover, and City Kids. By Pink Fairies, and I've never heard of that either. And that was released on Chris Rick Records, but it says, says Chris Rick, and that was 13th of June 1977. Not sure when the single first single was released in 77, but maybe sometime before that. Which then brings on to their debut, their self titled debut, Motorhead from on 24th of September. 1977 on Chris Wick and of course two covers by Hawkrim obviously no three covers because obviously that obviously Lemmy was in in the band of course from 1971 to 1975 and of course it's got the song Iron Horse Born to Lose and of course we'll, that will get onto the other one because he's got the tattoo Born to Lose Live to Win and then that gets on to the 1978 single released on Bronze Records called Louie Louie Tear You Down. So Louie Louie is a Richard Berry cover. That was 25th of August 1978 that was released. Which then goes on to the next single which was Overkill Too Late Too Late. Obviously we all know the song Overkill, how that starts off with the drums. And yeah, and that gets on to their 1979 album, their second album, Overkill. And that song's a belter. I mean, and that was released on bronze records because that's who they were assigned to at the time. I mean, banner of a record. Overall, that was released on the 3rd of March, 1979. And then we get No Class, Like a Nightmare. That was the other singles. 15th of June, 1979, also on Bronze Records. So, obviously, the song's No Class and Like a Nightmare. Which then gets on to the second album they released that same year. So, their third album. But the second album they released the same same year as Overkill, and that's Bomber. 27th of October 1979. Man, oh, they were very busy that year getting two albums out. No, I stand corrected. Three albums out. But before it gets that, we've got Bomber Over the Top. The other single, so that's 30th of November 1979. 
And then that gets on to their fourth album overall. But the third album they released that year on the 8th of December 1979 on Parole, which has three of their own songs, but mostly covers. And then we get on to the Golden Years live EP from the 8th of May, on, which was released on the 8th of May 1980 on also again Bonds Records. So all live stuff. And then we get Ace of Spades, Dirty Love, 27th of October 1980, that was released. Again, on Bronze Records, because again, that's where they were at the time. And then, of course, that gets on to their fifth studio album, Ace of Spades, released on Bronze Records, consisting of three songs. Of 15 songs. Clocking in at 36 minutes and 43 seconds. And that was this was released on the 8th of November 1980. So yeah, five albums. Three released in the same year of 1979. But and then they come out with this a year later. And what an album this is, because obviously the first song I ever heard was the title track, the first track on the album. Well, of course we know who played on it. Lemmy, Lemmy Kill Mister, Fast Eddie Clock, and Philly Animal. Engineering was Trevor Hawley, who did Chrome Molly, obviously Motorhead, and Plasmatics, and the last two was Vic. He died in 1970, no, 1989. I mean, he did a lot of producing, and I mentioned Girl School William, produced a lot of their stuff. Motorhead, of course, Rock Goddess, Spellbound, and Ur Urchain. I think I said that right. It was a R U R, sorry, you are. Let's get that again. U R C H I N. I've never heard of that band, so I'll have to check them out. And of course, the last one, the one who did the photographs, Alan, of course, passed away in 2011, did photographs for Girl School, of course, Motorhead, and Tank. So that's who did engineering, producing photographs. But let's get on with the songs. There's obviously the last few videos I've done this. I never really discussed every single song in detail. But I always try to say what's different about them, as you know. But yeah, let's get on with the first track, the title track, Ace of Spades. Getting Lemmy's bass at the start, and then you get the guitars from Eddie, and then the drumming from Phil, and then you get those really gruff harsh vocals I mean, well more yeah gruff I'll stick with gruff more gruff very gruff vocals from Lemmy which suits the music very well suits the whole album very well just a fast upbeat track and just an anthem that everybody knows second track love me like a reptile more more groovier then Ace of Spades, but obviously Ace of Spades is like a form, relentless banger. But Love Love Me Like a Reptile is just just came another one of my favorites from this album and just one of my favorite Motorhead songs overall. Shoot Me in the Back. Very rock and roll, roll type of a song, but still keeping that upbeat tempo right there with all the guitars. Guitar, the guitar work from Eddie, bass from Lemmy, drumming from Animal. Then we got Live to Win. So I said Born to Lose, Live to Win. Got the tattoo where it says Born to Lose, Live to Win. Just keeping the momentum again. Classic banner of a tune. Fast and loose. 
need I say more about 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 that song? It's if you've heard this album, you know how every song sounds. A lot of them do have that upbeat, like intensity, like Ace of Spades, and then it gets a bit more groovy, like shoot me in the that shoot you in the back. And then we are the road crew. Everyone knows that song, and that's song that I think should be played more when you're at like a festival or you're hanging out with some mates or you're you're at a half or whatever. Or you're just oh, I gig like, and there's someone puts it on. I was like, yeah, put this song on. Absolute banger. And then we got fire, fire, continuing on because like any song that's like. Under the three minute mark, a more more straightforward, in your face type of songs, and then we got gel bait. Again, just continuing where Ace of Spades started it all, and then we got dance. Really, really nice track there, and then bite and that uh, bite the bullet, which is the shortest track on this album. Being one minute and 38 seconds long. Which then goes on to the longer track of the album. The Chase is Better Than The Catch. Which is four minutes and 18 seconds. Very, very, very cool track. Obviously the longest one on here. And then that ends with The Hammer. And what an ending to the to an already fantastic album. This was the sort of stuff I was listening to before I got into thrash, death, and black metal, and doom metal as well, and sludge metal, and groove metal, obviously. You know, I was listening to more stuff that was hard rock based, more heavy metal. But like I said, heavy metal, hard rock. And all the songs blend well together. They're not all the same, like I said, like with Ace of Spades is quite a punky song. And then you get Real the Road Crew, you know, arcing on the uh, like the new wave of British heavy metal, that sort of sound, but still keeping that essence of hard rock in there. Just a just a fantastic album. And like I said, they're no longer here, but their legacy lives on. And j- just just one hell of an album. A band that everyone or hopefully has seen more than once, or only you have seen once. I managed to see these guys about, I want to say about five times. Because the first time I saw them was 2005. And yeah, 13 years, still 13 at the time. Seeing this band live and hearing songs from this album as well as the others. Now, this band blew me away. I saw him with my mum's then boyfriend at that time and his brother. And we went to see Motorhead. And then I saw him three more, saw him two more times at that same venue. So I saw them there in 2005, 2007, and 2009. And just blown away each time. And then seen them at Download and Bloodstock and... You know, loving... Just loving Motorhead. Obviously getting into them. One of the many bands that got me into metal. Like I said, they got hard rock. Or you can say they're heavy rock. Heavy, like heavy, hard, heavy metal, hard rock, or heavy rock metal. I, whatever you want to say, I, I think the last one sounded a bit stupid, but uh, heavy metal, hard rock. Let's just say that heavy metal, hard rock. And of course, if I'm going to pick my favorite tracks on here, and like getting back to the songs, obviously the title track, Love Me Like a Reptile, We on the Road Crew. And yeah, no, those those would be my top three. And obviously, this is a re-release here because it's got these three tracks here. But obviously, I only listened to it up to the 
out at, to the hammer. But obviously, the bonus track's dirty love. Please don't touch and emergency. And please don't touch. That's a cool song as well. But yeah, top three songs, like I said, Ace of Spades, Something Like a Reptile, and We Are the Road Crew. And of course, that's the name of the beer that they released, Road Crew, which is nice. And they also got a Pilsner called Overkill. Just so you know, if you if you've gone to festivals and you've seen it, you know. Now I know there's going to be a lot of people out there who have probably heard the name Motorhead but never ever checked them out. Let me just get a drink. Uh, uh taking it a little bit easier today. Don't judge. And. Um, Yeah, just if you haven't heard them, then do check them out. If you're more, if you're not into hard rock, you might not like Motorhead at all. But it's got that attitude of heavy metal. It was it's heavy metal, hard rock. It's got the attitude of both. And I think that there are people out there that will love Motorhead. And I know there's a few mates of mine who've never got a chance to see these guys live. And I'm, I mean, I'm gutted for them because I got to see them and, yeah, they're just fantastic live and, of course, never going to get to see them again, but the times I did see them, I loved. And, of course, this one will always be my favourite album by them. I still need to get all their other albums in my collection. I do have Iron Fist now. I've got the uh, best of in there on vinyl. But once I got all Motorhead's albums, that's it, I'm done. Still quite a few bands I need to do that for that will be mentioned here on the vault like Motorhead is now. And it was about time I got this band here because a very influential, very influential band within hard rock, within heavy metal, just in general. And it's got to be a band that at least everyone started out with. I started out with Motorhead and Metallica and Pantera, Slayer, Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, and also all the hot, all the rock bands as well, hard rock bands, you know, ACDC and the more more on the blues side, like Jimi Hendrix, and obviously going back to the hard rock, like again, let's say ACDC again, because right? they were one of them, Guns N' Roses, so on. And obviously that led me into metal. But I love Motorhead because they blend both. So for anyone that has not heard this album, then do check it out. It is an absolute banger of an album. It's heavy. Coming to the conclusion now. It's heavy. It's hard hitting. It's abs just an absolute ma absolute almost said it. An abs just well well and well mixed and mastered, just well performed. And overall it's a timeless masterpiece. Every album that I am mentioning on this series is a timeless masterpiece, and that is the overall conclusion of the albums that I talk about. And obviously, this album is going to be a timeless masterpiece. For a very long time. It's 44 years old. Well nearly 44 years old. Coming up on the 8th of November. When this kit. When obviously 2020. It would have been 40 years old. Yeah. 40. Nearly 44 years. Of Ace of, of Spades. Just an Stand, still standing the test of time, still holds up to this day in the year of 2024. And I think a lot of people should check out Motorhead. I know they're not going anymore, but I still do that with bands, even they're not going anymore. I still listen to them. Or even if they change their name from the band name that I knew them as before, I still listen to them. And I'm still going to listen to Motorhead. And I know it's not on this album, but one of my favourites is The Game, which is the one they did for Triple H. And he 
obviously grew up being a, a Motorhead fan and got to meet Lemmy. And wish I had a chance, but obviously that never came to pass. But got to see him perform a bunch of times. He threw one of his picks into the audience at the 2009 show here in Bristol. Caught it, and I still have it over there in my pick collection today. It's going nowhere. So, yeah, once again, and absolute timeless masterpiece right here motorhead and ace of spades Just don't forget the joker and that is it for another episode of my metal vault 60 episodes i don't know how many more episodes i'm going to do until i take a break from it and uh i might still keep doing it until i get to i don't know 70 episodes because i still got to do other videos still got to get other guests um on here and i am going to at some point get some better thumbnails made and just have them put on the videos of these of this series that i've done so you know because i've gone over the 700 and well, over the 700 subscriber mark now and I'm thinking well I need to actually change how my videos look when they get uploaded and yeah that's good that's one thing that's changing I might as well say that now and uh, obviously the music changes as well and obviously there are bands that do the sound that Motorhead started trying to remember the band now but the main front man literally looks like lemmy and yeah i can't remember can't remember who the band is but uh yeah so once again motorhead influential band brilliant brilliant band always going to be a fan and i hope there's some fans out there who are getting into them at, as i as I speak. So thank you once again for tuning in. Don't forget to like this video, share it around, comment down below. For well, for those who have been fans of Motorhead, have you been a fan of Motorhead since they started? Did you get into it in 1977? Did you actually see them at any shows around the time they formed? If they did any. And what's your favorite Motorhead album or albums? And most importantly, don't to, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with everything that I got coming up. So more videos like this, more my Metal Vault guests, underground metal releases, which I am just literally going to take the time when I actually have a moment to myself when I haven't got anything else going on to have a look. And just obviously crack on with what I need to do myself. And yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for tuning in. I've been Jacob Jake's Metal Chat. Keep the banner of metal well and truly high. And I will see you all again in another episode of my Metal Vault. <laughs>